Hey guys, so my cousin Eric, he works for Hendricks County and he approached me and asked me if I would be willing to speak for Hendricks County on September 1st about a, a little bit about my story with cerebral palsy and what challenges I um, face throughout my life, like, in the outside world, like, an example is, um, um, ramps that aren't correctly built for wheelchairs, I'll be talking about that, or I will be talking about, like, handicap spots, and where they need to be, where I think they need to be put. And because some um, restaurants or some stores like Target or Myers, sometimes their ramps aren't like yellow marked. So um, it's hard for me and other people with um, their depth perception to see where the ramp is. So if it's painted yellow, that's easy for people with wheelchairs to um, know where the ramp is and where it's a flat surface. And um, like, I am just really excited to share my story with his company and talk about like what obstacles I have to overcome every day but I can I constantly continue a positive attitude during those obstacles and I'll I will also kind of wrap in there um how I use transportation to get to work and all the things um so I'm very excited that he approached me and I'm very excited to speak for their company September 1st and um, yeah and like I said I am basically an open book for any questions about disabilities, about cerebral palsy, about um, what challenges I face. Um, in day-to-day -day life outside of in the community um, and all the things so I am just really really pumped about this speaking um, opportunity um, with my cousin's company it should be fun um, I'm really excited um, so yeah and if you have any questions on this video, let me know and I will be happy to answer any questions you have because I feel like it's important to talk about what people with disabilities struggle with in the community, whether you're in a wheelchair, whether you use crutches, whether you use um, walkers or a scooter anything like that um i think it's very very difficult for people in wheelchairs and crutches and walkers to um um get out of their car when a person is parked very close to their car even though they're in the handicap spot. So I will be briefing on that topic, on um, my feelings are on that because I struggle with that like on a daily basis and I'm sure I'm not the only one that struggles with that. And um, kind of just brief, talking uh, about how I overcome those obstacles and how I think we should change the community 
for uh, people with disabilities in the world because um, a lot of uh, a lot of changes need to be um, made in the disability community, um, not just regarding like outside of the world, but um, also um, like relying on uh, transportation to work, whether you use um, Indigo or Hamilton County Express. Um, those are way people get to work that have disabilities and that have to rely on them. And um, another challenge that I face and everyone in the disability community we have to rely on um, like your parents or caregivers to take care of you. And um, I think that's a very big topic that people in general with disabilities face because number one, um, uh, caregivers don't get paid very much. And I feel like as a person with a disability, you should be able to um, interview caregivers, make sure you're comfortable with them. And honestly, I feel like their pay should be increased because caregiving is a very, very hard job. And caregivers put a lot of work in what they do. And I feel like People at the offices um, that work for caregiving companies don't see what goes on behind the scenes. So that's why um, uh, caregivers or caregiving companies lose good people because um, they just like the um, companies don't tell. Um, th the caregivers what the actual uh, individual's needs are and like I said I'm not the only one that struggles with this um, obstacle there's many uh, people out there with disabilities that are nonverbal um, worse off than me that struggle with um, th this type of issue and the sad part is like I'm very, very blessed that I have a family that uh, has my back 100%, and I'm also thankful that I have my extended, fa my extended family and my cousins and my aunts and my uncles and whatnot that uh, watch out for me too. And some people with disabilities don't have that. Like, caregiving companies are their own only family and um, they're the only people that uh, they rely on. So I think it's important to um, have um, caregivers pay, pay salary increased because they work very, very hard. But anyways, um, long story short, um, I will probably just be bullet, or bullet pointing these points when I g give my little like spiel on what apps, uh, what obstacles I face every day. But um, I'm very, very excited to speak for Hendricks County um, on September 1st. So um, stay tuned for that um, video and um, to come out, and, um, if you're new here, welcome, uh, please subscribe if you have not smashed that red, um, subscribe button and, and turn on the notifications bell for more content, and if you liked this video, if you enjoyed this video, spread the word about my channel and smash that like button and have a great day guys all right bye